I want to show you a project I'm working on today. This is a stocking I made quite a few years ago for my sister. She had a cat named Zekka, and unfortunately Zekka has passed away, but um, my sister got a dog last year and named her Winter. So my sister gave me this stocking so I can redo the name and put Winter on it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna take out Zekka's name and do like a little cross stitch and write Winter. So since Winter's name is quite a bit longer, I printed out some graph paper, and I don't know if you can see this, but I was kind of playing around with the W, see how wide to make it. So I figured it out down here. This is how I'm going to make it with winter. And I counted out how many single crochets I did down here, and it just worked out perfectly because this is actually 34 squares going across, and the stocking is 33 squares. So it's almost the exact same thing. I started, I think, two squares over, so I'm just going to move this to where the starting of the stocking is. So start like right here. And I think I'm even gonna move this down one, maybe start here, so it'll be a little bit more centered. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and if you want the pattern for the stocking, um, I do have a few notes that I took when I was making it. Um, it's a little crazy that I can't figure out exactly what I was doing up here. So if you're interested in that, I'll figure out what I did and write an actual pattern out for you. So just let me know in the comments if you're interested in the pattern for the stocking. So the first thing I need to do is take out Zekka's name. And I have the scissors and I also have a sewing ripper, but I think I'm gonna just use the scissors. I'm afraid if I use the ripper, it's gonna pull on the crochets a little too hard and kind of get it out of shape. So I think I'm just going to use scissors and go from here. Now what I'm going to do is turn this inside out and then hopefully I can get them out a little easier. See where I knotted them because I know I didn't use just one strand of yarn to make that whole name. Okay, I think we got it. So turn it right side in or out or whatever you call that. Then I need to figure out where I want to start the W. So each of these rows are all single crochets. So I just do like a cross stitch over the single crochet. Oh, and the letters are seven. Seven rows, so I think this would be about the middle here. It should start right about here. So what I want to do first is leave a little bit of a tail so I can tuck it in at the end. So I'm just going to go underneath a couple of these and then go to the one I want, which is the very first one in this row. I'll leave a little tail and I'll turn this inside out and then tuck this in later. So I'm just going to do like a little cross stitch. Not too tight. And then I have to figure out how I want to do the diagonals. So I use up one space and go over to the other. So it's just a very gradual diagonal. So let's play with this here. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to rip it out again. And I'm just making sure that I'm not catching the back of the stocking. And that's what I have so far. So I just gradually went over to the second one. I think this W is going to be the hardest part to be honest. So 
So I got half the W done. I had to pull out the first one because it just wasn't lined up correctly. So this is actually a lot more difficult than I remember. I think the last stocking I made for my sister was probably my niece and she's nine. So <laughs> it's been a few years since I've done this, but um, I am coming along and I think what I'm going to do is tuck this in so it's not in my way. Okay, so I got the W completed and now I'm going to start on the I and the I will be so much easier. This W was crazy. Just trying to get the angle right and, and stitching over all these little crochets. And I should probably get a new piece of yarn because this one's getting kind of short. And let's start on the end. All right, so I'm halfway done, got my end done. So now it just says win, period. <laughs> but um, let me finish off the T-E-R and we'll see how it looks. And there it is, Winter. She is gonna be so excited to see her stocking. <laughs> so the last thing I need to do is turn this inside out and just tuck in all those ends. And I'm gonna use a crochet hook for that because it'll be easier. Here I go. I decided to make it a little bit easier on myself and I'm just gonna knot these together. I think this will go a little faster. So let me know if you've ever done lettering over crochet and let me know how you did it. One thing I probably would have changed when I started making the stockings for my sister is to put the lettering in white instead of green. What I did was um, the other stockings are either green with red lettering and this one is obviously red with green lettering and then I have just the white trim on the top. So I think white would be better because it would just stand out better. You could read it a little bit better. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you did, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.